In the viewing stand at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, relatives of uh, So Yun Yi, the uh, South Korean researcher, 29 years old, about to embark on her first flight into space, 13 and a half minutes from now. The uh, Soyuz is fully fueled, ready for launch. It will take about nine minutes uh, for the TMA-12 to reach orbit. Once it uh, separates from its uh, third stage and reaches uh, its preliminary orbit, its uh, solar arrays and navigational antennas uh, will deploy. The Soyuz uh, will be in its preliminary orbit, standing by for two rendezvous burns that will take place later today uh, to refine its path en route uh, to the International Space Station. The first of those burns to occur at about 9.52 central time this morning. The second, a circularization burn at about 10.38 central time that will place uh, the Soyuz on its correct path uh, for uh, rendezvous and docking to the complex on th Thursday morning, just after 8 a.m. central time. The uh, docking port uh, for the Soyuz TMA-12 will be the Piers docking compartment, which was vacated yesterday when the Progress uh, 28 cargo craft uh, was undocked and commanded to deorbit into a destructive reentry over the Pacific Ocean. Uh, currently uh, docked to the aft end of the Zvezda service module is the Jules Verne European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle that arrived at the complex last week. The older of the Soyuz vehicles, the TMA-11, that will be the ride home for Peggy Whitson, Yuri Malenchenko, and So Yun Yi on April 19th is docked to the Nader or Earthward-facing docking port of the Zarya module. Uh, this good view now of So Yun Yi uh, in the right seat in the Soyuz TMA-12 as uh, she listens uh, to uh, the launch control uh, center technicians uh, providing uh, their discussions of final pre-launch preparations less than 12 minutes now from launch. NCO2, 1.6. We can see you on TV. This is Perminov, Roscosmos Manitoba. I'm uh, smiling. You, you are looking very serious. Okay. From his vantage point uh, down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, the head of Roscosmos, Anatoly Permanov, uh, calling the crew in the final minutes before launch, uh, offering them uh, his best wishes on a safe ride to orbit. Launch schedule less than ten and a half minutes from now. You're watching live coverage of the launch of the 17th Expedition crew aboard a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Engineers continue to monitor all systems aboard the Soyuz rocket and the TMA-12 capsule. Launch time, 6.16 a.m. Central time, 5.16 p.m. down at the Cosmodrome. Again, you're looking at So Yun Yi in the right seat of the Soyuz capsule. Everything uh, continues uh, to track on target for an on-time launch today. The uh, temperature is in the uh, high 40s at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Clear skies, ideal conditions for today's launch. Uh, the Soyuz uh, is fully fueled. Its tanks uh, will be pressurized uh, inside the two-minute mark before launch. The uh, swing arms that are holding uh, the Soyuz in place uh, will fall back in an incremental fashion just before the command is given for main engine start.
countdown proceeds on schedule uh, for liftoff of the Soyuz TMA-12 just eight minutes from now. We're standing by for commands to be sent to switch power from uh, ground sources to the Soyuz's onboard batteries. Once it reaches orbit, the Soyuz's uh, command and control system will be activated. Stored computer commands will deploy communications antennas. The first uh, will be a rendezvous and docking antenna, ultimately used uh, to provide automatic range rate information on the final approach to docking with the International Space Station's Piers docking compartment on Thursday morning. During uh, the two-day transit to the International Space Station, uh, the crew on board the Soyuz, uh, Sergei Volkov, Oleg Kononenko, and Soyun Yi, will be uh, communicating uh, directly with the flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center outside Korolyov uh, during the periods in which the Soyuz passes over Russian ground stations. T-minus six minutes, 20 seconds and counting. Everything continues uh, on track. All uh, launch control positions report Soyuz systems ready for launch. Launch control also now reporting that the range at Baikonur is clear. The Soyuz Rocky rocket ready to begin its journey. At the five-minute mark, onboard systems will switch to uh, automatic control, internal control. The crew members will close the visors to their helmets, put, putting them on internal suit oxygen. And in the uh, launch control center, the so-called launch key is inserted in the bunker, uh, providing the final readiness for launch, all of the launch parameters on track. Ready for launch. The downrange trajectory for the Soyuz will carry it across Mongolia, China, ultimately reaching its preliminary orbit over the Sea of Japan.